Hello, I'm Org, and in this video I'd like to do something a little bit different than my usual World of Warships replay video. Essentially a few day, um, days ago, Wargaming announced that in October we will be seeing the first line of German ships in the game, which will be the cruisers. And basically I just wanted to talk a bit about the ships that would be in this line. At Wargaming they released a few screenshots and a... Well, it's hard to call it a tech tree when there's only one line of ships in it, but we'll call it a tech tree, the line of German cruisers. And I'm actually really excited for them, mainly because I just like the way that the German cruisers... I like the way they look, I like the way I expect they will play, and there are lots of light cruisers in there, and I actually really enjoy light cruisers and wish there were a lot more in wood warships. But anyway, I'm just going to go through them tier by tier. At tier 1, we have the... Hermelin is how I'm going to be saying it. I don't think that's right though. But anyway, this was a 1930s design for a colonial gunboat that Germany ended up never building because they didn't have any colonies for it to gunboat in. Um, but as such, it's kind of designed to fill, fill the same role as the Aryan Hashidate and it's from the same time period, so it should be a pretty reasonable match. Uh, the stats of the ship are actually available on GameModels3D.com and it's quite interesting, or perhaps disturbing. Of the Tier 1 ships, it has the most hit points, it is also the fastest at 24 knots, and the most agile, although it has a poor turning radius, it can change directions quickly. Um, in terms of firepower, the German ship has the longest range, the fastest rate of fire, the quickest turret traverse, and quickest gun elevation, and the highest muzzle velocity. And the only real downside is that the shells do the least damage per hit. And because of all that, I actually expect this to be a very fearsome ship to be fighting against down at tier 1, and I kind of expect some of those stats to change in the near future. Probably. At Tier 2, we have the Dresden. Uh, this is the famous First World War cruiser that was trapped in the Caribbean at the start of the war and it fought in the Battle of Coronel and was the sole surviving German ship of the Battle of the Falkland Islands and it was eventually trapped in Chile in 1915. At Tier 2, it will be fairly comparable to the Chikuma and the Chester. Uh, looking at the stats available, it will be slower and less maneuverable than the other cruisers, with fewer hit points. But what's most interesting is the armament of the Dresden. It has 10 guns, more than either of the other cruisers. However, due to the layout, it probably only has a 5-gun broadside, which, you know, it's the same as the Chikuma. However, these guns are only 105mm in calibre, which is basically the same size as the destroyers at low tiers. The advantage the Dresden gets is in its rate of fire. Uh, again, according to the available stats, each gun will reload in 4 seconds, which compares to the 8 seconds on the Chester and the 12 on the Chikuma. Which basically means that even though the Dresden will get shorter range and it has less damage per shot of either of the Tier 2 cruisers, it will more than make up for it just by rate of fire. I mean, it will be able to fire 20 shots um, for every 10 that the Chikuma fires when they're trading broadsides, and, you know, 15 to the 8 shots of the Chester when the Chester's fully upgraded and they're trading broadsides. I mean, unless the stats change, I actually kind of think I'll really like the Dresden, just because I will enjoy just pouring out fire like that, even if it is not doing a lot of damage. At Tier 3, we have the Kohlberg. Um... From here on up the line, we don't actually, well, I don't have any stats to go on, so what I'll say will be basically conjecture based upon history and what I think these ships are. The Kohlberg, well, it's certainly, you know, near enough to 100% as you can get to be the Kohlberg class of cruisers from 1910. Uh, they were the immediate successors to the Dresden and are actually a significant improvement over the Dresden. Uh, gained another pair of guns, giving it a 6-gun broadside. They were still 105mm calibre, but they were of a more modern design with a higher muzzle velocity and longer range. They were also faster than the Dresden class, 
and two of the ships were upgraded to take 150mm guns, so there is a possibility that this will be an available upgrade. Although, if that is the case, then tier 4 and 5 might be a bit awkward, since those probably won't maybe get the 150mm guns. Um, I imagine at tier 3, this ship will play kind of in between the Tenryu and the St. Louis. Uh, the St. Louis will have more and larger guns per broadside than the Kohlberg, as well as more armour. But the Kohlberg will probably have a higher rate of fire, just based on what the Dresden's rate of fire is. And will also be faster and more manoeuvrable than the St. Louis. However, compared to the Tenryu, the Kohlberg will be slower and less manoeuvrable, but will have vastly superior firepower. Uh, whether I'm kind of not willing to have a stab on whether the German cruisers will have torpedoes or not. Uh, historically, the Kohlberg did have submerged torpedo tubes, um, but in the game those aren't usually put in for you to actually play because I'm not sure if they're ever actually used historically, except for you know, a few very rare occasions. Um, probably later on, when you get to the more modern cruiser designs, you'll probably get torpedoes, but... Kohlberg, I wouldn't go either way. At tier 4, we have the Kalshu, which could actually be one of a number of cruisers. Uh, it was quite a common name for German cruisers in the time period. Uh, I think the most likely candidate, though, is the Kalshu class, class of 1912. However, these ships were only a slight improvement over the Kohlbergs. Uh, they have the exact same armament as the Kohlbergs. They were have uh, larger, faster, and had better armour. So, they were kind of an improvement in every respect other than firepower. However, unless it's kind of a significant improvement, I think it'll struggle against the Kuma and the Phoenix. Uh, just to compare it to the Kuma, the only advantage the Kalshu had was a higher tonnage, so theoretically that should mean more hit points. And slightly thicker armour, although whether that actually matters that much on a light cruiser is debatable. Uh, in exchange for that, the Kuma has an 8 knot speed advantage and the same number of guns per broadside, but those guns are all significantly larger. And the Kuma also has more and better torpedoes, if the Kalshru even gets torpedoes. Uh, so I kind of suspect the Kalshru might simply be outclassed at this tier. So it kind of opens up the possibility that the Kalshru is actually a different ship, but it would kind of be odd to like name it after the second or third or fourth, you know, ship in a class when there's you know a number one ship to name the class after. But whatever. Anyway, tier five we have the Königsberg, um, which again there are actually well two options for. There was a, the first was a class of cruisers from 1915, well the second's a cruiser class from 1927. I suspect that the 1915 Königsberg will be the tier 5 cruiser, but that's only because the 1927 class would be very similar to the tier 6 class of cruiser, but considering you've already got like the Mogami Miyoko and Phoenix Omaha, that hasn't stopped wargaming in the past, so... It could be the 1927 version, in which case the Königsberg, since the second ship in that class was called Karlsruhe, could actually be the Tier 4 cruiser, but we'll have to wait till October to see. I did actually mention that's when this line's coming out. I think I did. I should have. Anyway, if the Königsberg is the 1915 version of the Königsberg, um, I kind of feel the same way about this ship at Tier 5 that I do about the Karlsruhe at Tier 4. Uh, the Königsberg now has 150mm guns, but it's gone from the 6-gun broadside of the Kalshru down to a 5-gun broadside. Uh, the Königsberg is also slightly slower than the Kalshru, but it is a fair bit larger. But comparing it to the Omaha, which is the other tier 5 light cruiser, uh, the Königsberg will have a weaker broadside, only 5 guns to the Omaha's 8. Uh, the Königsberg was slower than the Omaha, but his comparable armour, it would probably have more hit points. Oddly enough, they actually have similar anti-aircraft armaments, despite the Königsberg being built a decade earlier. Um, I kind of expect that the only way the Königsberg could be competitive with the Omaha is basically if it kept up the high rate of fire that we kind of know the Germans have at Tier 2, 
to allow it to compete with the Omaha, but that would have to be a very, very high rate of fire. The other possibility is that it will just have torpedoes, which might do. We don't know. At tier 6, we have the Nuremberg. Um, and the only ship of this name that could possibly be was a Leipzig-class cruiser from the 1930s. I'm guessing it's called the Nuremberg rather than the Leipzig because the Nuremberg actually received a lot of upgrades that no other ship in that class, well, there was only one other ship in that class, but no other ship in that class got those upgrades. Um, if I've kind of got the ships right, this would be a significant upgrade over the Tier 5 cruiser. Uh, gets a broadside of 950mm guns. It is the first German cruiser in this line to go faster than 30 knots and is significantly heavier than its predecessors, although it does actually have less armour. Uh, compared to the Cleveland, which is the other tier 6 light cruiser, it might actually be competitive, um, provided that the rate of fire of the guns or other stats is sufficient to make up for it having three less guns and weaker armour, but then the Cleveland's also probably should be at least a tier 7 rather than a tier 6, but that's another question. Um, and this ship, the Nuremberg, I actually would expect it to have its torpedoes. It's kind of just because it doesn't have submerged tubes, it's got two quadruple launchers per broadside. So, again, while it might lack, compared to the Cleveland, in terms of guns, it could easily make up for it by having torpedoes. And I'm actually kind of looking forward to playing this ship. Just because it's fast, it, 950mm guns is actually pretty decent firepower, not as great as the... Cleveland, but it would be the second best of the light cruisers currently available in game. If it does get eight torpedoes per broadside, that would also be pretty fantastic. I mean, depending on how good German torpedoes are. 30 knots, well, more than 30 knots is fast enough for me, so all around I'm thinking this would be a pretty fun ship to play. At tier 7, there is the York which is not the name of any German cruiser I'm aware of, so I'm guessing it's probably a paper ship. Uh, my guess is it is the M-Class, or one of the related proposals, for a new model of cruiser for the German Navy in the late 1930s. Uh, they were designed to be basically better commerce raiders than the Nuremberg. Um, as such, they were designed with... They were heavier, they had thicker armour, they had better AA guns, but they had one less 150mm gun. So, all in all, based on what information is available, which kind of isn't actually that much, we just expect them to be a gradual improvement over the previous design. Um, again, I'd probably still like this ship, just because it would be the highest tier light cruiser available in the game, or highest tier equal with the Atlanta, but the Atlanta's a premium ship, and you know this one should theoretically be much better. That is, of course, assuming that it is an M-Class and not some unknown other ship. I don't know. At tier 8, we have the Admiral Hipper, which there's kind of only really one option for, because there was a very famous class of ships called the Admiral Hipper, and it's a heavy cruiser. And in fact, it was the only heavy cruisers built by Germany. So, my guess is this is the point where the line changes from light cruisers to heavy cruisers, and... It's kind of obvious which ones are going to be. Of the tier 8 cruisers, the Admiral Hippers were the heaviest by far. Uh, in fact, they were more than 60% heavier than Mogami at full load. So you'd have to assume they're going to have the most hit points. However, their arm is not better. It's roughly the same as the Mogami and the New Orleans, or New Orleans if you're from America. Uh, the hipper speed is roughly the same as New Orleans, and slower than the Megami, but lots of things are slower than the Megami. Uh, the hipper actually has a sizable AA armament based around 12 105mm dual purpose guns, which also gives it a very powerful se um, secondary battery. Um, however, the hipper has the fewest primary guns. It only gets 8 203mm guns, compared to the 9 on New Orleans and the 10 on the Megami. However, in kind of a historical sense, the Hipper's guns had the longest range and the fastest rate of fire. Although they, I think they had less explosive charge than the other two, but I'd have to actually go double check that. 
But hopefully they'll be kind of reflected in the game, and that even though the hippers get the uh, least guns, they fire faster and further, although they might do less damage than the other two cruisers. So I kind of expect the Admiral Hipper class will be a very interesting addition at tier 8, although I also expect that the strength of this class will depend on how many extra hit points it gets compared to the other two, and just the ability for it to soak up damage. At tier 9 and 10, we have the Rune and the Hindenburg. Um, and these are going to have to obviously be paper ships. As I said, the Admiral Hippers were the only heavy cruisers the Germans ever built. But they kind of started focusing on the uh, what they called Panzerschiffe, which, well, it's not translated in English, but we generally call them in English the pocket battleships, which are really too big to be considered cruisers. But I just don't think they would be the ones up that well, they're not going to be the ones at the top of the tree because otherwise we see the Deutschland class there, which were the pocket battleships actually built. And since they aren't there, it probably means that the pocket battleships will be a separate line at some point in the future, either of, you know, the end point of the German battle cruiser line or kind of a second cruiser line, depending on how Wargaming wants to classify them. But there weren't... Well, not that I can find any actual proposals for an improved version of the Admiral Hipper or an improved version of a heavy cruiser, simply because the German Navy didn't actually want any in the Second World War. So I kind of expect these ships just to be a gradual improvement over the Admiral Hipper. Um, if I had to guess, I would say the Rune at Tier 9 is probably just the Admiral Hipper, again, with maybe a bit better armour, definitely better AA guns, but probably slightly faster rate of fire or well I'm kind of tossing up because the other countries cruisers they basically get the same gun armament but they fit a fire fast faster firing or more accurate guns but I kind of have a feeling that since the Germans will probably already be firing fast and far and probably pretty accurately if you had to stereotype based on how Germans are in the other wargaming games I kind of think that instead of a rate of fire increase going from 8 to 9 they might actually just pick up an extra gun or two but at tier 10 I'm kind of thinking I'll probably get an auto loading basically an admiral hipper with auto loaders just to help keep the rate of fire advantage that presumably it would have compared to the Des Moines which has a very very fast rate of fire but that is just me guessing which kind of have to do because I have no idea what these ships are because they don't seem to be based on anything that I'm aware of so they could be anything but it just seems to me that this line of ships probably has you know fairly weak guns but high rate of fire and long range compared to the other cruisers in the game you know a lot of hit points but they're not actually that fast or maneuverable I kind of just expect I'll try and keep that feel into tier 9 and 10 where you know, fewer guns, but it'd be fast firing, long range, blah blah blah. Not sure about torpedoes, but that's another question. Anyway, I hope you found this video enjoyable or informative or whatever. And well, if you hopefully you like me, you're looking forward to playing the German cruisers when they come out in October. And well, I'll see you all next time.